What it do, YouTube? Man, it's your boy Q back with another jiggy video, man. I'm excited, man. I'm excited. Finally, about to get some real gains on the DE, man. So, you see the title? Uh, let's go ahead and get into it, man. So, in this video, man, I'll be showing you a couple of mods you'll need for your uh, G35 for it to be fast. Um, especially for you guys that want like 300 wheel and uh, like 400 wheel, um, you know, horsepower out of your VQ35 DE. So I'll also be going over um, what each component would do for you, um, how it will perform, and what type of gains you'll get from it. And uh, yeah, man, let's get into it. So we're gonna start off with, uh, if you guys are already subscribed, you already see that I got the, uh, the jank called the DC Sports uh, coated intake. So the, the air from the coated intake would go to that right there is a Z1 Motorsport 75 millimeter throttle body. The throttle body would give you uh, It'll give you power throughout the whole entire power band. Um, I mean, the RPM. It'll also uh, give you more acceleration as well, but you're really gonna feel the throttle body in the upper uh, the upper ranges of the RPM. Instead of feeling like your car uh, is going like, you know, fall off or it's like, damn, it's not really pulling. That's gonna help you pull more. Then that goes into the, the Connects V Plus Plenum. I highly recommend this Plenum. It keeps the, uh, it keeps the, um, what is it? The temperature of the uh, engine like 25 to 50 degrees cooler than the um stock up and plenum does and on top of that it what you call this uh as you can see it's angled so it the stock plenum um does it it doesn't get airflow to the first two uh runners these two the first two runners because of how it's made so the v plus plenum kinetics is uh it gets airflow to the first two runners more and it also uh it gives you more horsepower throughout the um, whole entire rpm it's also good with boost like i said it, uh helps with engine tips then the airflow will go down to the mrev2 man mrev2 uh if you add it to the de by itself it's not really gonna give you any type of gains it's really for mid range it helps you it helps you pick up some torque it helps you pick up um horsepower oh this thing is heavy in the mid in the mid range of the rpms as you can see right there it is cnc ported but now when you combine all these things together you'll get some pretty good performance like really really good performance then they go down to the cnc uh runners man that's underneath which is technically this is called the intake manifold because you got the upper plenum then you got the lower plenum you got the cnc ported runners so the cnc ported runners man uh, to be honest, I can't really tell you what they'll do because not too many people in the DEs actually port their runners. They don't really port this. So, uh, that is going to definitely give you some more horsepower, but I can't really tell you how much. Um, it's definitely just going to help out with the airflow and the horsepower. That's all I can tell you. So, yeah, man, you got the airflow going from the, um, from the, uh, coating intake to the throttle body to the plenum, then to the, the CNC port, the lower plenum, then the CNC port of runners. That's a lot of airflow. As you can see, um, I went ahead and put some stuff together. I got the gasket already on that. And I got the metal gaskets. I already got the throttle body assembled. And I got the gasket on top of that. That's going to just uh, make the installation of this video quicker, man. So, you know, if I was, like, normally what I do in my videos, I show you literally, I show you guys literally step by step. But since, like, I'm doing such a big install, it's not really, like, you know, it's not really going towards one thing. Like, one little install. Now, I'm, I'm gonna just try to make it make it as quick as possible, but I'm still gonna show you guys everything. Alrighty, man, we are outside. We got the car, got all my tools, everything. Let's go ahead and get into it. So I'm gonna start off by taking off this crank uh, crankcase breather. Also recommend that as well. I'm gonna do a YouTube video on that, man. Cause I don't think it's too many YouTube videos on that. Everybody need that, especially if you like racing. Um, basically what the crank case the crank case breather does it, um, it replaces your oil cap and then what it does is like when you put in your car in race mode and all that you know put your car in race mode or you downshift whatever you got a manual transmission what happens is um, your car like boom like when you downshift and stuff all that pressure builds up in the engine in the crank case that's how people blow um, head gaskets and stuff but the crank case breather uh, makes all that excessive uh, pressure and everything go out of the oil filter or oil cap area. Very uh, handy, man. And it's cheap too. Most of them cost like sixty dollars. Uh, my mouth is watering. So now what I'm gonna do is, man, we're gonna start with taking everything loose. 
Alrighty, so next up, unplug your mouth sensor. Ah, damn. Got the uh, code of intake off, man. So next up, unplug the plug to the throttle body. Boom. Then there's uh, it's another plug back to the throttle body. You gotta get that, buddy. There's a third plug back in the throttle body. You gotta get get those clamps. Get that off. The uh, hose in the back isn't coming off easily, so uh, I'm gonna what you call it. I'm gonna take off the plenum then try to get it off. So I'm about to go around and take off, like, I think it's like 19 nuts. Like 19 nuts. I'm gonna take them bad babies off, take the top plenum off, and that's gonna be that. Also, the um, where is it at? Where is it? I think I see it. The hoses that's connected to, if you get the Z1 Motorsports uh, 75 millimeter throttle body, you're not gonna need, it's gonna come with, I think I gotta get out the box. I'll show you guys, it's gonna come with like a little L-shaped bracket because the throttle body has some coolant hose that goes uh, to it to help it cool with coolant, but the new throttle body doesn't get that, but they give you like a little brass fitting to put in the hoses and I'll show you that. Once I get this off, I'll show you guys that. Alrighty, so I got the upper plenum off. As you can see, that is a mess. Yeah, man, it looks like a fucking, that looks ported. I think I have an MRF2 up here already. Hey! <laughs> um, but anyways, those are the two hoses right there, that one and that one. And this is a brass fitting right here that's going to, um, boom. That's going to, what you call it? That's going to be uh, connecting those two hoses because the new throttle body does not get those. So let me get those two clamps off in the back, those two hoses off. Um, and then boom, the upper plenum and throttle body, everything else will be off. Sheesh. Man, that was some work right there. Getting that upper plenum off, man. That was crazy. But all right, look. Throw the body. Upper plenum off. Hold on, let me go ahead. This is what I was talking about. You got the uh you got the hose on the back of the throttle body. And then you got the, the hose, the coolant hoses right there down and one coming out. And those hoses are these two right here. This one going to that front one, and this one going to the back one. This the brass I was talking about, the gold brass. One thing you do is, I'm not gonna plug it up right now because I still gotta do the valve covers, so there ain't really no point in hooking this up, and then that's gonna be on my way. But anyway, so yeah, just, you see the clamps right there, right there by my finger. One thing you do is, just hook up the hoses, put the clamps on, bring, bring me, damn. <laughs> I mean, bring the clamps back up, and that's that for that part. Now I'm about to take, these six bolts off for the middle plenum, I mean the lower plenum. I'm gonna take that off because I'm doing the valve cover. And that's it. Alrighty, got the lower plenum off. This one, yeah, the intake, the lower intake manifold is not CNC ported. Um, but I think that, I think that lower plenum is CNC ported. I really think this, I think this is an MRF2 already on the car. Yo, look, look how clean this is on the inside. Like, look how clean, like, I think that's CNC ported, bro. Of course, it got the little line going down. This one has the line too, as you can see. You can even see in there where they actually CNC poured it out. What? See how clean that is? Like I'm talking about. Of course, it's dirty, but look how clean the sidewalls are, man. I'm trying to. I think it's an MRF too. I really think that's an MRF too, and that can that explain why. The car, cause my car, my my G thirty five pulls in third gear and fourth gear, like it keeps pulling. Um, it doesn't like really fall off, and I was like, I wonder if I have any parts. Everything else is stock. Everything I've done to the car so far, I've done myself. But that might be the only mod <laughs> that was done to the car from the previous owner. For real, I'm, I'm thinking that's the MRF too, man. But anyway, so I'm gonna try to undo the nuts of the fuel well and lift it up and then lift the intake manifold like out that way without, uh, you know, unbolting the actual fuel rail. So we're gonna see how it goes. I'll be right back. Oh man, all right, so I got the uh, injectors out. That was a pain in the ass. Them injectors like seized up in there. But um, all the bolts and nuts 
to the intake manifold and the fuel rail are 12 millimeters. So I'm gonna get the rest of these bolts and stuff out. I'm gonna take the lower intake manifold off and then I'll be done. Alright, got the lower plume off, and this is not CNC ported as you can tell because it got like the uneven little scratches and stuff in there, so that's not CNC ported. But I really think that's an MRF2 because ever since I got this car, it pulls in third, third and fourth gear, bro. This car pulls, and everybody who drove this car, everybody I raced, they was like, Yo, before I even did all the mods to it that you guys see on my channel. They was like, yo, you gotta have something done to this car because your car pulls it. And it does, like in third gear, the shit starts pulling. And the fourth gear just keeps pulling. And most G35s, well, DEs, like the car falls off. So I really think that's a, a MRF2, man. I'm gonna show y'all one more time, man. I got new gaskets for the intake manifold. But look at this, man. I'm trying to tell you. Look, look how smooth that is in there. Like it's dirty, but just look at the sawwall. Uh, look at the sidewall, man. Look how clean and smooth the sidewall actually is. Now, look at that. Let me go to the actual MRF2 I actually bought. It looks the same. Like, look how smooth it is. Of course, this one is more visible because, uh, I mean, that's dirty because, you know, from the previous owner. And when I first got the car, I was driving it. I didn't have the oil catch can at first. So, you know, the uh, oil consumption in VQ is uh, horrible, especially DE is very horrible. But yeah, man, I'm trying to tell you, man, I think I'm pretty, I'm 90, 95% positive that's an MRF2. But anyways, let's get back to it. So getting the ejectors out was crazy. We got the little uh, intake manifold off. I'm cleaning the surfaces around. I'm cleaning the inside the little valves of the heads. I'm about to throw, uh, I'm about to throw the new intake manifold on. First, I'm throwing the gaskets. Then I'm gonna throw the new intake manifold on. It's actually right here. I already got it cover up from so lifting and going inside. And then once I get that bolted back down and the injectors in, I'm gonna go ahead and do the valve covers on each side. Because I don't want like any gunk or anything from the valve covers to fall inside the motor, blah, 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 blah. So I'm gonna just go ahead and get this out the way. And then boom, get the valve covers out the way. And then bolting everything back up is gonna be very easy. And then we're gonna do the, uh, what's it called? We're gonna do a little test, a little uh, throttle body reset, whatever. And then we're gonna let everything sit for about an hour or two. We're gonna go for a test drive, man. I cannot wait to see how this drink performs. I cannot wait. Alrighty, so we got the uh, CNC port intake manifold in. I got the bolts in place and the nuts in place. All they gotta do is tighten those down and put the uh, fuel injectors uh, in there and tighten the fuel injectors down. Like, you know, the nuts that go on. You don't tighten down fuel injectors, but it's the nuts that's to the brackets. Anyway, so we got four bolts and we got four nuts to the uh, intake manifold. So you got a bolt right there on the other side and then you got a nut and a nut and a nut and a nut and a bolt right here and a bolt right there on the other side so how you would tighten it down is all right man yo i'm actually losing daylight because of this stupid valve cover so <clears throat> i lost one of the bolts so I'm not even going to be able to tighten it down all the way. So I might end up having a, a freaking leak unless I find the boat that I can use. I'm trying to find one. I got some extra boats lying around. But the valve cover, I would have been done with this install, man. I got the lower intake. I got the, lower, the CNC port lower intake manifold in. I got the injectors in. I got that all torqued down. I had to do the valve covers because this valve cover was uh, in cylinder number six. It was leaking uh, oil on my uh, spark plug well. So I had to change the valve covers man it took me forever my brother had to bring me this window or swivel uh ratchet it took me forever to get to the last boat i would have been done with this install hours ago and already uh resetting the little throttle body and driving the car so uh now i put the rtv up there i got i'm bolting down the um ignition modules um i'm gonna get the uh <laughs> The lower plenum up there. That's probably gonna be like a more speed sped up process. I'm gonna just be showing you guys, um, you know, how the car feels afterwards with with some uh, some driving. That's probably gonna be the best I can do, man, because I'm losing daylight. I don't really got no flashlights. So, uh, I got the CNC ported MRF2 on. Uh, so we're gonna go uh, tighten sequence. We're gonna go one, two, three. 
Three, four, five, six. Damn, man. Hey, look. Sorry for the tacky video, man, but you gotta do what you gotta do, big dog. Got the uh, kinetics tightened down. Everything, the hoses, everything, or catch can, everything is tightened down. I just got done tightening that, uh, that bolt all the way back there in the back. I swear, Infinity is so stupid for that. But the only thing I do now is uh, put on the intake mint down, put on the uh, coated intake, and then uh, do a, do a throttle body reset, and then boom. Also, um, I forgot to tell you guys. Uh, damn, I'm so frustrated. <laughs> but anyways, I, I forgot to tell you guys. Uh, with all these mods that you're doing, so I also have down pipe and exhaust as well. With all these mods, you're going to um, you're going to change the. Uh, the tone of the exhaust so your exhaust is going to sound maybe deeper it definitely is going to sound different because it's uh so many air mods is sucking in so much air and pushing out so much more air so it's definitely going to um be different so i can't wait to hear it now my car is going to uh stall because i need a camshaft position uh sensor that thing went out yesterday but yeah so sorry for the target video man again but hey let's get it man all right on two seconds Boom, lap, turn it off for at least 10 seconds. Back on for two seconds. Back off for 10 seconds. Now that you crank it up, my car is gonna choke because it needs a new, what you call it? Position sensor. That's that. Let's see if this baby cranks up. Thank you, brother. I did a prime. Huh? All right, we're back, man. Again, I apologize for the tacky video, man, but it was just that valve cover, man. It's just something, something crazy. Um, I figured out how to get to that boat. Everything is buttoned back up correctly. Last night, I did finish the vehicle, but it had a very bad misfire, like really bad. I posted a clip for that. Then secondly, um, then you guys not really gonna see it, but you can see a little bit right there. Try to get up in there. You see this connection right here for cylinder number, uh, cylinder number four? So with the uh, DE, which is weird, like cylinder, the connection for the core pack for cylinder number four goes to number six, and number six goes to number four. That's weird. I don't know how they made it like that, but if you don't, if you put cylinder number four to the cylinder number four, damn, that's stupid. If you put the connection for cylinder number four to cylinder number four for the core pack, it would misfire really bad. So I switched those guys. Now the car is running smooth. I'm about to take it for a test drive. So. My first impressions are, it sounds, the car definitely is like deeper and louder. And on top of that, it has more acceleration at the low end. And it's, it's running very smooth, I like that. Yeah, it's definitely louder. Now, I know it takes time. Don't just get in the car and expect the car to just go crazy. Cause since you don't, if you don't have a tune that is, but if you have a tune, the car will definitely be uh, responsive from the get go. Now, if the car uh, isn't responsive at first as you like it, you don't, uh, don't panic, don't get mad. You know, if you're on a stock tune, the stock ECU has to relearn the car because the car is uh, breathing differently and it's performing differently, so. Like once you get done with the install, I would just say let the car run for about 10 minutes by itself, at least 10, five to 10 minutes. Let the car run about five, 10 minutes by itself, then drive the car around. Like I said, like it feels 
way more responsive at the lower end. Like it's just ready to go. Uh, and it's definitely uh, has a more deep loudness to it. Like it sounds deeper. But it might take a couple of drives to actually feel the full effect of all the mod. And the pop sound. Oh my God. Oh, let, me, let me roll the windows. I want y'all to hear this. Y'all hear that? That's so much louder. <laughs> that should sound crazy. <laughs> What's good, bro? How you, How you been, my boy? Chilling. Happy birthday, Josie. Oh, Happy birthday, Josie. Happy birthday, Josie. Come on, dude. Hey. One, two, three. Let's get it. See him weighing y'all ass all day. Josie trying to learn. Y'all disgust me. All right, here we go. Here we go. 